Yes. Arbash Slaper. Okay. Then. <laughs> Okay, this is the way to start. <laughs> this, oh, it's Josh, just, can you turn your video on, please? No. Court does call the cases of the people versus the Curry, Eddie Dunn. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And we have a resolution here uh, in exchange for Mr. A. Dunn being guilty in case 221 1056. The other two matters will be dismissed. That is correct, Your Honor. So he's going to plead on both counts in 5 6? Correct. All right. All right. Sir, if you can please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear? Oh, I'm sorry. Got it, babe. Sorry. Go ahead. I'll let you do it. That was just a sweat All right. Sir, it is this court's understanding that you are going to be pleading guilty to two charges. Is that your understanding? I'll have to ask you to speak up a little bit so I can make sure we hear you. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. First of all, this court's understanding you're going to plead guilty to the charge of domestic violence, second offense. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to one year incarceration and or a $1,000 fine plus court cost. You understand that? Second count is that is malicious destruction of a building less than $200. That's a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail. $500 fine plus court costs. The fine could be increased to three times the value of the property destroyed. If that's greater than $500, that becomes the maximum fine. You understand that? All right. Understanding all of that, you still wish to plead guilt. To the charge of domestic violence, second offense, how do you plead? <laughs> Gonna have to, your voice drops. All right. To the charge of malicious destruction of a building less than $200, how do you plead? Yeah. You understand that by pleading guilty, you'll not have a trial of any kind. As a result of that, you're giving up certain rights. You're giving up your right to call witnesses to speak for you at trial or to have this court compel their attendance. You're giving up your right to see, hear, and question all witnesses against you at trial. You're also giving up your right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent and not have that silence used against you. And you're also giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You understand that, sir? You understand you're giving up your right to appeal of right. Are you on probation? All right. Were you on probation at the time of this offense in um, July? All right. You understand that your entry of a plea in this case could be a violation of that probation. You understand that as such, that other core that you're on probation to could sentence you to the maximum allowable under those other charge or charges. And understanding that you still wish to plead guilty to this charge, these charges? All right. You're not on parole. Okay. Has anybody promised you anything other than what's been stated here today on the record to get you to plead to these charges? Has anybody threatened you or coerced you? You're doing this voluntarily of your own free will. And because you believe that you are indeed guilty. July 5th, 2022, at the location of 9232 MacArthur Boulevard, Superior Township, Washington County, State of Michigan. What did you do on that date involving an Ayanna Lee Nash that makes you think that you're guilty? Okay, let me ask it this way. What did you do to her on that day that makes you think that you committed the offense of domestic violence? Okay. Uh, when you say that, what do you mean? What did you, you do? 
Did you push her or did you, I mean, what'd you do? You choked her. Okay. She didn't give you permission to do that, did you? And you intentionally did that? Had you, what, who is she to you? Do you have a child in common? All right. And had you previously been convicted of domestic violence um, on or about September 17, 2021? Oh, it was, you think it was something else? Um, it looks to me, because it's referencing the prerequisites of the relationship, that it would be a domestic violence. But he's saying that it wasn't or may not have been. That's okay. We'll, we'll take a look. And that period in time is just since the beginning of September. Right, and just from the date of arrest, September 7th, up until now. Mm -hmm. uh, just, uh, in terms of the privileges, I'm not sure if it was just restricted from Claude Hector's number. He knows he, we had a discussion not to call that number, but uh, if it's possible that he'd still be allowed to call family members. I'm not sure if that's possible with the, uh, how the system works there. Well, I think. I think it was a domestic violence deleted, but um, I bet it was in Oakland. Pardon? Okay. All right. So you were convicted of domestic assault in Oakland County in 2021. It was actually had. Aggravated domestic violence. Okay. You recall that conviction, sir? And you're not disputing the record that has been represented to the court regarding that conviction in 2021? Okay. And on that same day, um, what'd you do to the building that belonged to Miss Nash? Yes. Go ahead. All right. And you didn't have any property interest in that door, meaning it wasn't yours. And when you did that, you did that on purpose. All right. Counsel, have I complied with the court rule? Would it be proper to accept this defendant's pleas to these charges? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Court will accept the defendant's pleas of guilty two counts, one and two. Defendant is referred to probation for a pre-sentence investigation and report. Sentencing will be November 7th. Sentencing in this matter will be November 7th, 2022, 9 a.m. Bond on that matter will continue. Cases um, 221. 1249 and 221 1232 are dismissed pursuant to the program. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, Ron. We actually need him back. Okay. I meant to address one more thing. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, Your Honor, as, as to that case, there was one other thing I did bring to Mr. Gallagher's attention, um, which were the um, no contact order. There's been um, phone, numerous phone calls. Um, made from the defendant to the victim in this matter. So I'm asking for phone privileges to be revoked. Um, I believe it's 112 or 122 calls. I do have the call log for the court. I did provide Mr. Gallagher with one.
I mean, in 45 days, you've given me over 100 calls. I mean, I, I'm going to indicate that the defendant's phone privileges are revoked um, in their entirety at this point, except for counsel except for his attorney. And I, I will be willing to reconsider that coming come the sentencing date on the 7th. Um, but you got to give me a darn good reason why. You, you got to no contact on it. Okay. So I'll give you that opportunity to present it to the court. But in the interim, that's where we're going to stay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Court does call the case of the people of the state of Michigan versus James Johnson. Welcome back, Mr. Johnson. It's like an everyday party with you. All right. Why am I not surprised? Anyway, all right, what are we doing? Well, you got to let us know before we get here because I can't. What's the global resolution? There are three cases, Your Honor, on the MDOB case, which is my case. There will be a guilty plea on that one. There will be a guilty plea on the case that just has a single count of trespassing that Mr. Gallagher has. And then the other case that Mr. Gallagher has is the AUB and the trespassing. Those would be dismissed, Your Honor. I have the case numbers. That's my um, Go ahead, give the case number. Just pull the arm away and open it up. In there. Well, I can't do the guilty plea off of I need the trespass file. When are those up, the trespass and the other? Yeah, we were just in, uh, before you wrote it, uh, the trespass uh, yesterday. That's the one that he's pleading guilty to. Yes. I believe that's a 221 That is correct. The case that's being dismissed is 221-0705. All right. Pull me the arrows. Does somebody have a copy of the complaint on the trespass? And I can do it that way. You have a copy of the complaint, a physical copy of the complaint that I can look at. Copy, I do not. All right. Can you pull it up and then send it? If you if you can just pull it up and send it to Miss Weidman, then I can do it off of that. Does that resolve everything he has before me? And you know, but I think there's cases that need to be sentenced on still. So. I'm just trying to find a way to make him go away. I know that. You do? Yes. Well, that one I can dismiss using my ROA. I just need the complaint to take the plea. Okay. All right. All right, Mr. Johnson, it's this court's understanding that you are going to be pleading guilty to two charges. Is that correct? Here today. The first is that in case number 221-1291 to the charge of trespassing. Is that, is that correct, sir? That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to 30 days incarceration and or a $250 fine plus court cost. You understand that? And the other matter, that being case uh, 221 0347, that you'll be pleading guilty to malicious destruction of a building less than $200. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail, $500 fine plus court costs. The fine could be increased at three times the value of the property that's destroyed. If that's greater than two hundred dollars, that or greater than five hundred dollars, that would become the maximum fine. You understand that? All right. Now, understanding all of that, do you still wish to plead guilty to these charges? 
To the charge of trespass, how do you plead? To the charge of malicious destruction of a building, less than $200, how do you plead? Now, you understand that by pleading guilty, you'll not have a trial of any kind. Because of that, you're also giving up certain rights. You're giving up your right to call witnesses to speak for you at trial or to have this court compel their attendance. You're giving up your right to see, hear, and question all witnesses against you at trial. You're also giving up your right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent, not have that silence used against you. And you're giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand that? You understand you're giving up your right to appeal of right. Are you on probation? Okay. You're currently on probation because you got so much, right? You understand that your pleas in this case could be considered a violation of your probation. All right. And as such, you could be sentenced to the maximum term of those other cases. You understand that? Understanding that, you still wish to plead guilty to these two charges. All right. Has anybody promised you're not on parole? Okay. It, has, okay, don't, don't say that. Has anybody promised you anything other than what's, as to these cases, has anybody promised you anything other than what's been stated on the record here today? Has anybody threatened you or course? You're doing this voluntarily of your own free will. And because you believe that you are indeed guilty, starting on case uh, 1291, the trespass case, on the date of April 5th, 2022, at the local MacArthur Boulevard, Superior Township, Washington County, State of Michigan, were you on those, were you on the premises of Sycamore Meadows, Danbury Park? Had you prior to your entry on that date, been told particularly by a Washington County Sheriff's deputy that you were not to be on the premise uh, not on those premises and you still were there on that day all right on the other matter the malicious destruction of property on or about December 14 2021 at the location of Woodland Hills apartment what did you do to property of said Aisha that makes you think that you're guilty of this offense? Say again. Okay, so you did more than just bang on it. What did you do? I damaged the door. Okay, you damaged it how? By with your hands? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So you banged on it too with such force that it damaged the door and its frame. Pardon? Okay. And you don't have a property interest in that, meaning you don't own that door or anything. All right. And when you did that, you did that on purpose. Okay. Council, has the court complied with the court rule and would it be proper to accept this defendant's case? All right. Court will accept the defendant's plea of guilty to the trespassing charge and also to the malicious destruction of property. Um, on the malicious, let's deal with the malicious destruction of property one first because there's uh, property damage involved in that one. I'm going to have to refer the defendant to probation on that case for a determination at minimum if there's restitution involved. So I'll set sentencing on that one. Now you're set to be sentenced before me when? December 14. Is that right? That. What? Remind me what that's on, because I can't keep track of it. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll set sentencing for December 14th, 2022 at nine. If we can get the figures that there is any claim for restitution, as well as get the other information on the attempt, I know we'll try to move it up sometime to our November date. I can't promise you that, but I'll... I'll try to do that for you, okay? Your Honor, for 
whatever it's worth, it does have a, a bond on my case and on the on the MDOP case, Your Honor. You must be at the 93 day mark at this point. Well, if I give him a PR on it, I can give him a PR on it. That's fine. I think it would be proper if that bond was extinguished at this point for us, Your Honor. Um, he's, he's maxed out on the case and something happens in the public. That's, case. That, is, that is not anybody's fault but his. But okay, I'll, I'll lower the bond in that case, but I have to send it for the for the determination of restitution. Um, and I'll give him a PR 5,000 on that case. Thank you, All right, Thank you. don't and don't make me go up and down about that. All right, um, Miss, because you asked me about changing your bond, then you do something, I got to change it back. I'm not doing that with you anymore. They can have that back. Trespassing case. Is there anything you want to say before I impose sentence? I don't have a problem immediately sentencing on that case. I, only because I have to ask you, is there anything, Mr. Johnson, you want no. to say? Really? That's a first. Write that down. <laughs> you did? Okay. Yeah, I know. Stupid <laughs> stuff, mouse. All right. It's a sentence of the court. What'd you say? Oh, no, I'm not even talking to you tomorrow. All right. In that matter, I sent you to the statutory amount of $125 state fees. And then 30 days, Washington County Jail credit 30 served. And on the other matter, case 2210705, that matter is dismissed as part of this case. All right, we'll Thank see. You. We'll see you tomorrow. I have. Or Mr. Joey, you sign this waiver.